woodcutter lived in a forest in Germany with his two children. Sadly, the children's mother was dead. Their stepmother did not love them, and they were all going hungry. Listen to me, husband. Hmm? Yes? Uh, what is it, my dear? I've been thinking, if we share our food with Hansel and Gretel, there just won't be enough for anyone. So we'll all die. What? That means we should keep all the food for ourselves. It makes sense. It, it makes sense? H have you gone batty? Here's what you should do. Take Hansel and Gretel deep into the woods and leave them there. Give them each a crust of bread, but leave them there. Good idea, huh? Well, it's a crazy idea, and I, I don't want you talking about it anymore. You're scaring the children. Now, I have to be gone a few days, and while I'm gone, I expect you, my dear wife, to be their mother and see that nothing happens to them. Do you understand? Oh, yes, 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 yes. Of course, dear. It still makes sense. Goodbye, Hansel. Goodbye, Gretel. Now, you be good children now, and I'll be back in two days. Bye-bye, Papa. We'll miss you. Hurry back. <laughs> Leave us in the woods all night? She wouldn't dare. Remember, Gretel, be brave and keep your eyes open. I've got a plan. Here's some more pebbles, Hansel. This should be enough, huh? Uh-oh. Hey, you two, come over here now. We're going for a little walk. The stepmother took Hansel and Gretel deep into the woods. All along the way, Hansel dropped a trail of white pebbles. Now, wait right here. I'm going to go chop some wood. Please, stepmother, don't leave us. You heard me. Stay there. <laughs> she... she left us. I told you so. Now what? Be brave and keep your eyes open. I hate it when you say that. Look, the trail of pebbles we left behind. If we follow them, we'll find our way back home. Come on, let's go. You! <laughs> How did you get back? Out you go! No! Ow! No, no wait. wait! Please don't send us into the forest without anything! Hmm. Very well. Here's a crust of bread for you, Hansel, and a blanket for you, Gretel. Now, let's go! Once again, the stepmother took Hansel and Gretel deep into the forest. Hansel had no more pebbles, so this time he dropped bits of breadcrumbs to mark their way back home. Again, the stepmother left the children, and again, the children began retracing their way back home. But as they followed the trail of breadcrumbs... Huh? Hansel, look! Those birds are eating all the breadcrumbs. Shoo, shoo, get away, shoo! Oh, Hansel, the breadcrumbs are all gone. Uh-oh, now we're really lost. Hansel, I'm cold. It'll be dark soon. What now? I guess we'll have to wait through the night and try to find our way back in the morning. What's that? I think it's a wolf. Maybe it's a bear. Whatever it is, it's going away. Look. Oh, it looks 
looks like candy. I'm gonna try some. Me too. <laughs> Gingerbread. Mmm, candy in between. Mmm, yum. A whole house made out of gingerbread and candy. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> huh? Well, hello, my little darlings. <laughs> Welcome to my house. Um, who are you? Me? I'm just the old woman who lives in this gingerbread house. Come in, children. Come in. I have an especially sweet dinner waiting inside for you. We don't talk to strangers. Come on, Gretel. She seems nice, and I'm really hungry. That's right, child, and it's right over there. Everything you like to eat. Oh, wow! Cookies and strawberry pie! My favorites! Yippee! Hansel, don't! Ah! Ah! This is a cage! Open up! Let me out! You let him out! I may not see very well, but I know how to get what I want. And what I want is children's too! For the next few days, the children remained the prisoners of the witch while she fattened them for her stew. They had all they could eat especially Hansel, because the witch liked to eat plump little boys best of all. One night, Hansel couldn't sleep. Hansel, are you crying? No, no. Well, stop it. It makes me feel funny. You always said be brave, remember? But, but there's nothing I can do. I, I, I'm in a cage. Then I'll have to be brave for both of us. Gretel, come along now. You must help me prepare the oven so I can cook you, um, so I can cook this big pot of porridge for you and Hansel. Ah, <laughs> uh, could you clean away that burnt crust way back in the oven? It's way in the back. Go on. Uh, I don't know how. Of course you do. Just climb in. How? Show me. Then I'll do it. Huh? You're a stupid girl, aren't you? Like this, you crawl in like... Th <laughs> You're trying to trick me into the oven instead of you, huh? Well, you're the one going in the oven. No, no! <laughs> no! <laughs> no, children stew, children stew, nothing better than... Huh? You come back here! Get the key for the cage! Something's wrong. I should smell you cooking. Oh, uh, parsley and dill. I forgot the parsley and dill. I better check. Yeah, that's it. 
Uh, I don't see any parsley or dill in here with me. Oh, 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 that's hot. Oh, uh, now, uh, let's see here. What could be there? Uh, huh? Where'd she go? I'm right behind you, witchy. Yeah! <laughs> She's dead. Hansel! Gretel! Papa? Papa! Papa! And so Hansel and Gretel were reunited with their father. As for the stepmother, well, after the woodcutter found out what she had done, he sent her away. She was never heard from again. From then on, Hansel and Gretel and their father lived happily together. They were still poor, but their father always found work. And so they never went hungry again, and never, ever ran out of candy.